A circuit is not simply divided into sources that supply energy and components that consume energy. The capacitor and the inductor naturally store energy. These components can function as temporary energy sources, and they are widely used in power networks, voltage regulator circuits, and filters. Capacitance exists wherever conductive material is separated by insulating material. Capacitive structures store energy as an electric field, and when a capacitive structure has been designed as an electrical component that has a specified amount of capacitance, it's called a capacitor. As shown in the diagram, we can charge a capacitor by connecting it to a battery. The voltage causes current to flow and charge to accumulate, which creates a voltage across the capacitor that increases as the current flow decreases. The energy stored in the electric field can convert accumulated charge into electric current. The voltage and current behavior associated with a charging capacitor is conveyed by the curve shown here. The time axis uses the abbreviation RC. This refers to the RC time constant, a period of time corresponding to the capacitance, denoted by C, multiplied by the resistance in series with the capacitor. A component's capacitance influences the rate at which voltage or current changes during charging and discharging, so the higher capacitance, the longer the charge and discharge times will be. The unit for capacitance is the farad, which corresponds to coulombs per volt, so a capacitor with higher capacitance can store more charge per given amount of voltage. If a 2 microfarad capacitor and a 4 microfarad capacitor have both been charged up to the same voltage, the 4 microfarad capacitor will have 2 times more stored charge than the 2 microfarad capacitor. Inductance is very similar to capacitance. It stores energy in a magnetic field. When an inductor is connected to a voltage source, its current gradually increases, while its voltage gradually decreases. Its rate of charging and discharging is governed by the RL time constant, which is inductance L multiplied by the resistance in series with the inductor. Finally, if an inductive circuit is disconnected from a power supply, the inductor will temporarily maintain current. All conductors have some inductance, but to create an inductor we use techniques that strengthen the magnetic field to increase inductance. A basic inductor is simply a coiled wire and the coiling concentrates the magnetic field lines to increase inductance. The unit for inductance is the Henry, which corresponds to the voltage that will be generated by an inductor as a result of changes in the rate of charge movement through the inductor. For more details, check out the link in the description or visit allaboutcircuits.com.